I'm Billy Crystal. Israel is a special place that is always in my heart. But I'm attached to Israel more than just emotionally. I see Israel as a tremendous practical resource for the world. Through its brain power, it has brought innovative solutions to places where they are desperately needed. And where that brain power gets developed is the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. I've been a supporter and an American friend of Hebrew University for years. I'm very proud of what the university does to build Israel and to reach out to the rest of the world. It was founded by some of the most brilliant minds of the 20th century, and it was an engine of innovation and in strengthening the Jewish state, especially in agriculture. It was our faculty that greened a desert nation and fed Israel's people. Drip irrigation was invented here, along with techniques for improving soil quality and controlling viruses and diseases affecting plants, animals, and humans. Today, Hebrew University is an academic and research powerhouse, helping to feed and green Israel and the wider world through the Robert H. Smith Faculty of Agriculture, Food, and the Environment. As American friends, we are part of the faculty's effort to take on a huge problem, the devastating hunger, disease, and resource scarcity throughout the world. Water shortages make growing food difficult. That's why Hebrew University experts are developing drought-resistant crops. These are sorghum plants. Sorghum is a very important staple crop in the most drought-prone areas of Africa. We're aiming to produce from these plants newer cultivars which have a greater drought resistance combined with high productivity and high nutritional quality for African people. After completing the study and this project, hopefully I will have enough knowledge and experience and that knowledge and experience coming back to Ethiopia will help many people in the country. We've got world-class researchers improving other crops like tomatoes and peppers. Hebrew University scientists have developed golden rice enriched with vitamin A. They are masterminding functional foods with disease-fighting nutrients. You can see here that the stone is still large and there is no oil whatsoever at this stage. Olive trees have been part of the Middle East food supply for thousands of years and we're still improving them. And now the tree is producing perfect olives. Now we have to take all the good compounds and make sure that they get into the olive and that they stay into the olive oil. And this is our part in the big story. Another part of the big story is the way mushrooms are being developed so they transform the waste corn stalks they feed on into fertilizer for other crops. They're doing double duty. Many of us are animal lovers, and when pets become ill, they become even more a part of our families. Well, she's been with me for many years and she's a true companion. And, uh, but luckily, I feel that this is the place to be. Uh, I think that luck is really getting the best treatment possible. It's, it's great to have her with us. Unfortunately, pets can also carry serious diseases, like leishmaniasis, which can be transmitted from animals to humans with terrible consequences for both. Our scientists at the Koretz School of Veterinary Medicine are developing a vaccine to help eradicate this widespread disease. Our veterinary hospital is the leader in the Middle East treating animals from the entire region. Maintaining the health of livestock is crucial for the integrity of food supplies. This is another central part of the correct veterinary school and Smith faculty mission. Our research has made Israel a major exporter of flowers, but taking time to smell the roses, or whatever those flowers are, is also producing medical breakthroughs. Malaria kills millions of people each year and is especially brutal for children. It's currently treated primarily with a plant-based compound that's expensive and in short supply. At Hebrew University, we're developing a technique using yeast to produce this vital compound in greater quantities and at lower cost. If there is anything close to a common denominator for the challenges facing the Middle East, it's water. The region needs more of it and soon. In fact, so does the rest of the world. So who do you think is in the vanguard of desalination and wastewater treatment? Israel is actually leading the world in both. We desalinize more water and we treat wastewater and reutilize it in agriculture. 
At the moment, we use about 72% uh, of the total wastewater produced in irrigation in agriculture. My project uh, involves the elimination of biomass contamination in the water distribution system. It's a global problem and also happened in China. So if we can find good solution here, and then I will bring back to China to solve our problem. The Hebrew University is building bridges to peace throughout the world in many ways. Our international students at the Smith faculty are some of our best ambassadors. I am from poor country. Our people are malnourished. If you go there, if you see our, our food habit, we have, but we don't know how to use. We don't know how to eat, really. We don't know how to use nutrient food. Uh, just so to change, thanks to Hebrew University, I will make a difference. Our professors are sharing their knowledge with developing countries where food scarcity is a crucial problem. Uganda's Lake Victoria is the world's second largest body of fresh water, but it's been overfished. It's very important. We won't be able to, to induce spawning unless we know at what age they are going through puberty. So this is very important. Hebrew University's aquaculture expert, Professor Berta Lavani Savan, has been working with counterparts in Uganda to reverse this decline. The objective of the project was to improve spawning techniques in the demonstration lab and integrate them into commercial fish hatcheries. Once we started interacting with her, there were some Israeli experts who would come here, and then later we arranged a trip to go see what they do there. And the technology we acquired from there could easily be transferred to our own situation. And as soon as we came back, this is exactly what we did. Our production levels per cycle were not more than 10,000 fingerings. But now we are going to around 150,000 fingerings per cycle. So it is immense. It's immense for small business people like Serena too. Her two ponds generate sales for her neighbors and food for her children. It's people helping people help themselves. The Hebrew University is in the forefront of the struggle to meet some of the most severe challenges humankind has ever faced. This outreach expresses the best of Israel's destiny, to be a light unto the nations. Help the Hebrew University and become part of that light. I'm Billy Crystal, proud to be an American friend.